Peace, y'all. It's your boy Zulu King Street Fame 47. Y'all know what it is, man. So, yo, I wanted to hit y'all with a story, man, of my dog, Mikey, yo. I told y'all I lost a lot of people in these streets. Mikey was one of them. Um, I lost a lot of people to, uh, to, to murder. I lost a lot of people, uh, to drug overdoses. Um, some of them was intentional. Some of them, like, just overdose, you know, by intentional, I mean, somebody might have gave them a hot pack, you know what I mean? Um, but, um, a hot pack is, uh... Uh, you know, they gave him something that will kill him. You know what I mean? They gave him, they came to buy something and they gave him something that, that'll kill him. You know what I mean? So, uh, in this case, it's what I was told happened in Mikey's situation. But, I don't know. You know what I mean? You know, I don't know. Um, my boy Mikey, right? My boy Mikey was wild. You know what I mean? Now, my boy Mikey got a brother. His name is Boodle, and he got another brother. A younger brother. Yo, he. And, um... The little brother really wasn't, you know what I'm saying, like Mikey and Boodle. You know what I'm saying? He's like the complete opposite of them. Mikey and Boodle is off the chain. So, what happened with Mikey and Boodle is... First started selling dope, and then they ended up getting hooked, both of them. So now, they just out there wild out. You know what I'm saying? I got a million stories with these niggas, bro. Like, uh, they still my dogs, even though they got high. I just ain't give them no work. You feel me? Like, I was like, I cut them off as far as giving them work. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't give them no work. You know what I mean? And, you know, they come around, whatever, we hang out, drink, you know what I'm saying? They be on other shit, though. They used to do heroin, they used to do crack, you know what I'm saying? They'll smoke powder, all that, you know what I mean? So, uh, they was, like, way, like, they was gone already, you feel me? But they'll still be around me. So, uh, you cannot have both of them together all night long. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a fight. Like, you cannot have these two dudes around each other you know what i mean so uh later on as they got older they still was uh getting high you know what i mean and uh they was in the boost and, and all kinds of shit bro like you had to watch out like i'll be on the block like we'll go to with my boy Wilito. i did a video on him not too long ago rest in peace <coughs> go by Wilito by Wilito's sister's house we'll be in grove park on curry ford over there you know what i'm saying we'll be in grove park Hanging out, drinking, this, this, and that. And you got to watch Mikey, you know what I'm saying? And Boo, you got to watch both of these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Because there will there'll be so many of us outside, they'll disappear for a few minutes. And then they'll, what they was doing is they'll go around breaking into people's cars and shit like that around the whole fucking complex. But they won't say nothing, you know what I'm saying? They just slide off and start doing that shit. So now, if the police start rolling around, you know, we got guns on us and all type of shit like that. So we used to always be yelling and screaming at them and all that. I took Boodle's uh, pistol from him one time because he was so high, like, on Xanax. And he was just pulling out. And sh we'd be talking, I'm talking to somebody, and he just walking by back and forth on the sidewalk on the other side, shooting in the air. You know what I mean? So took the gun from him. Give me the gun, bro. You know what I'm saying? Give it to my other boy to hold down. Get back to him in the morning when he's sober. You know what I mean? That type of shit, you know what I mean? So, uh, so, um, damn, y'all had so many stories coming to me at one time, I don't lost what the hell I was gonna say. But, that's, you can't have these two guys around each other. I know I was saying that. You can't have them two around each other. Um, um, you're definitely in for action pack night if you do. You know what I'm saying? And, like, they don't stab each other with forks and all kinds of shit. You see what I'm saying? So, you definitely in for a ride if you have them around each other. So, um, like, like, uh, man, it's, it's so many stories. I told my boy that one time. So, my boy want to take them boosting. Check this story out. My dog want to take them boosting. My homie from Castle Hill, man. Shout out to my dog. I ain't going to say his name. But, yo, he, he wanted to take them boosting. So, he's like, yo, you know, this and that. I'll buy everything. But I want all the electronics. So, I think he wanted all the electronics. But at this time, they went and got some clothes only, though. 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, don't take both of them, bro. Just take both of them, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, nah, his brother want to go. I'm going to take them. I'm like, bro, don't take both of them, dog. I'm telling you, bro. So one of the brothers go in the store. And he's, he gets, he start boosting all the gear. He put it and he stash it in the store somewhere. You feel me? And <coughs> the other brother, Mikey, Mikey sees where he stashed it at, goes and steals it, goes outside and said it to my boy. You know what I'm saying? In the car. So then Boodoo come out like, yo, you stole my shit. So now they fight in the car, fist fighting. You feel me? And my boy calling me like, yo, bro, you're home. I said, I told you, don't take them, bro. Why you took them, bro? You know what I'm saying? How you going to take them together? I told you, bro. I know these cats over 20-something years. Don't take them together. So it was always shit like that, bro. Like I almost got in a fight with both of them one time because I, I, I got out of prison. I was making plays. I was making plays in prison. You know what I'm saying? I was make, The hustle never stopped just because you're up the road. You know what I mean? So I was getting money and I was making plays, whatever. Boom. So I was making plays when I got out of prison, you know, looking out for the homies. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we go to this gas station. Now, you can't go to the store with neither one of these fools. These dudes is straight boosters. Like, they going to steal... They going, they going in there, they taking all the beers, like everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I don't ever go to the store with them. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm not going to the store with them, bro. They're like, yo, take me to the store. I'm going to go get a beer. All right. You, you pull up to the store and he come running around the corner with cases of beer. Yo, jump in your car. Like, go, go, go. You know what I'm saying? So make your car hot. I'm like, man, I ain't on that shit. So anyway, we go to the store, bro. But it's a hood store. They know us there. They know me. And I told you I was making plays and I was making plays with the people from the store. So I tell them, I said, yo, listen, man, I got business with these dudes. Don't steal nothing from the store, bro. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I got I got things to do. I, I, I do things with these people. These people fuck me on, on another level. Don't do nothing to these people's store, man. So we go in the store. The dude's like, yo, what's up? Woo -woo. So he's, you know, he say my name, whatever. So I'm talking to him, you know. And uh, he's, he's, he's he, he, I'm right in front of him at the register, but he's like this, looking, you know what I'm saying? Looking down the aisle of the store. And he's talking to me like, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. He's talking, I'm like, damn, bro. I look back then, like, man, I told you, I hope this fool ain't stealing nothing. And he just watching him like a hoe, bro. So he comes to the line, to the front, and, and the dude tells him, he's like, man, move out of the way, bro. He's like, hey, man, take that shit out your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he called him. So he's all mad. My boy mad now because he got caught. So he turns around. He tells him to leave the store. Give me your stuff. He's like, no, nah, you straight. I said, yo, my bad. I apologize. I said, man, you ain't got to apologize. You straight, man. You good, man. I know, I know these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. So boom. He turned around and walk out the store, Boodle, and uh, and the other brother gets kicked out. He's in the back still, and he kick him out. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Boodle turned around. It's, it's, it looked like a white boy, a red hair white boy standing behind him, but it's this Puerto Rican dude. So my boy cursed in the mind of Spanish, like, yo, what you looking at? Like, oh, he, now he want to beat the guy up. They got nothing to do with nothing. He just standing in line waiting to pay the son. So I, so then he goes outside. I spit all over the man's windows and shit. Uh, so I went outside, and you know what I'm saying? And uh, I spazzed out on both of them, you know what I'm saying? And... You know, things was, it was, shit was finna get, you know what I'm saying, jumping out there. You know what I'm saying? But they were my boys, you know what I'm saying? But it's all in between brothers. Like, we used to go through this shit, like, all the time. So, like I said, they'll go to the, they'll steal car radios and all kinds of shit and all that. They'd be boosting. But they couldn't be around each other, man. One time they was at my house and we was hanging out and they was both there. <clears throat> and um, they start arguing with each other. I don't know what it was, but Mikey hit the window. To my house like he just hit it like kind of hard you know what i'm saying but um he didn't punch through it or try to break it now he just hit the window boom like so boom the brother's like yo you wilding out man you disrespecting you know what i'm saying the crib blah 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 so they get into it so uh you know we all out there my baby moms was pregnant she was uh, you know what i'm saying we were at my house she was pregnant and all this now i got pit bulls in the yard and all that so like we out front and shit and my boys walking up and down the block I remember Mikey threw the phone at Boo with his brother and hit him right here and knocked his teeth out. Broke his front teeth with the phone. So now Boo want to fight, but Mikey don't want to fight. He's like, nah, that's my brother. I ain't got no hands for him. I said, yo, how you ain't got no hands for him, bro? When you just threw the phone and broke his teeth, you got to catch that fade. We're going to go to the yard where the dogs is at, but be quiet. You know what I'm saying? So the dogs, they'll bark for a minute, and they'll shut up. And then, you know what I'm saying? I said, we just going to go to the yard. Y'all throw a couple of blows, get that shit over with. So he don't want to fight. They arguing. My other boy Andy's there. Shout out to Andy. You know what I'm saying? But Andy ain't no fighter. Andy's like, you know what I'm saying? Just a normal person. He's not a fighter. He's not aggressive. You know what I'm saying? None of that. He's cool ass dude. So Andy's drunk. You know what I'm saying? He's wasted. And they arguing. So then Andy's like, yo, I want to fight him. 
So I'm like, yo, Andy, shut up, bro. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, nah, this and this and that. And, and then Andy keeps on with that. I want to fight him. I'm like, Andy, you don't you stop. You know what I'm saying? Stop saying that, bro. Chill, bro. So Buddha's in the yard, squared up. Like, come on, come on. Calling his brother Mikey out. Uh, uh, Mikey don't go want to go out. So Andy steps up. And Andy's out there, and, and then he's like, yo, this he looks at me, he like, because he's drunk, you know what I'm saying? So he looks at me, like, yo, at the none of my meal, you know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't my brother, bro, you know what I'm saying? I said, I know, nigga, this nigga tired of hearing your shit, so he want to fight. So he's like, bro, I don't want to fight this nigga, you know what I'm saying? So they argue, and I, because he don't want, they don't want to fight, and uh, Buddha don't want to fight Andy, Andy wants to fight Buddha. So somehow they end up fighting. And boom. Andy surprised the shit out of me and took Buddha down. I was like, oh, shit. So he takes him down on the ground. Here come Mikey running over there and punch Andy in the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Punch Andy in the eye, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tinted the man window. So Andy fall back. You know what I'm saying? So I run over there and I grab Mikey and I choke him out. I throw him on the ground. And I ch and I pick up Andy. I pick up Buddha. I say, y'all ain't going to jump. Y'all ain't going to jump him. You know what I'm saying? You got to fade him one-on-one. -on -one. Y'all ain't going to jump him. So um, after that, the next day he came to my house again, Mikey. But he ran out my house. He was so coked up. You know what I'm saying? He had, he had some raw coke that he was selling. He did some shit, bro. But he threw my name in the mix. You know what I'm saying? He did some shit, um, you know what I'm saying? He, he 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 did some crazy shit that he lit something up, you know what I'm saying? But he said I was with him, but I wasn't with him, you feel me? He just used my name because my name, like I said, there's a lot of people that was on the east side of Orlando. They was known, you know, they might have been known for macking the bitches, you know what I'm saying, the females or whatever. They might have been known, you know what I'm saying, for st stealing or might have been known for other things, but I was known for violence, you know what I'm saying? So... That was what my name was attached to, you know what I'm saying? So when there was issues, my name was always, always out there, you know what I mean? So the dude, Mikey, you know what I'm saying? My boy Mikey threw my name in the middle of something, and he came back, and he did something, and they called me, like, yo, bro, why you did that? So I was like, what you talking about, bro? I'm all the way on the other side of town, you feel me? Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, no, no, no. Mikey said that he left. I said, man, Mikey ain't even with me, bro, you know what I'm saying? So, so but, but all this was happening in, like, the same couple of days. So I tell Mikey, yo, stop using my name, bro. Stop saying my name, nigga. Niggas is calling me, bro. They thinking it's me, nigga. You know what I mean? So, um, so Mikey is mad powdered up the next day after they fight, after he, he hit Buddha's tooth out with the phone and all that. So we in my crib and he must have got a paranoid or schizophrenic, uh, you know, cocaine psychosis from doing too much coke. You know what I'm saying? And he ran out my door and he started trying to get in the car, shaking the car, but he was like, I'm like, yo, get that. I said, I don't I'm like, I said, I don't I said, I do And he was like saying that I was going to hurt him. Like I was going to do something to him, bro. And he just ran out my house, bro. You know what I'm saying? Out of nowhere, I'm going to jump in somebody's car and they took him home. Uh, my boy said, yo, I'm going to take him home. He was uh, he's like, I'm going to take him home, bro. He bugging out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because he thought I was going to do something to him. You know what I'm saying? Behind that. But he broke into a church, right? <laughs> and I used to tell him, like, what, what was you thinking about breaking into this church, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, what would you expect to find in the church? Were you trying to steal Jesus? What the hell was he doing, nigga? You know what I'm saying? So he got caught a case for breaking into the church. He went to the jail and he got into the Christian dorm and he wrote the owners and told them that he was going to church now and God changed his life and la, 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 la. And they dropped the charges on him, you heard? Then he got out and it was a revolving door with my boy Mikey and my boy Boodle, both of them. You know what I'm saying? You can't say Mikey without saying Boodle. It's like there was, you know what I'm saying? But um, they were short little dudes, bro, like five foot two. Three, you know what I'm saying? But there was their heart was seven foot four. You know what I'm saying? Like they they just big hearted dudes, man. Um, one time in the same complex in Rope Park, they was about to he was about to fight somebody, and everybody was about to back Mikey up. And the kid that was gonna fight was a uh, was um he was by himself. You know what I'm saying? And the whole like he was they had him pinned up by the pool by like twenty people around him, bro. And the kid was like. Yo, you so and so. He said my street name. You know what I'm saying? And when he said my name, um, I looked at him and he was like, You Jack homeboy, this dog, man. That's my OG, man. So my boy Jack, this dog, he's a maniac, uh Latin disciple in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, Yeah. And he's like, Yo, please don't let me get jumped, bro. I'll fight them one on one, bro. Line it up, but don't let me get jumped, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know you my homeboys, but he talks about you all the time, like and my boy, he always says, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? This is my best friend. I can trust my life. You know what I'm saying? He's an old school, old school gangbanger from Chicago. Not these gangbangers this era. 70 gangster. You know what I'm saying? So, so um, I was like, all right, cool. So, 
So I told everybody back up, you know what I'm saying? I let I told Mikey, yo, y'all gonna fade one one, you know what I'm saying? And Jit lost. You know what I'm saying? Mikey beat him up, you know what I mean? Um and uh, you know, I broke it up, you know what I'm saying? And Jit Jit said he wanna rematch, you know what I'm saying? He said, yo, when I get right, I wanna rematch. You know what I'm saying? He told me thank you for uh, you know, not letting him get jumped and all that. You know what I mean? So they, they was always involved in some shit, bro. And I was always in the center of this. Like, I got into some some cat from Philly named uh, Lucky. Swole up dude. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> with some blood cats. He was a blood. I got into it with them on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Then I ran down on them. And me and Lucky, you know, we had our conversation. Lucky was a, uh, you know, he had just did 10 years and shit. So he came out, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we politicked and all that. And, um, you know, that situation got dead, you know what I mean? But um, it was a lot of crazy things going on in there, you know what I'm saying? With a lot of wild people, and Mikey and Boodle was in the middle of all of this. My boy Mikey, he was still the nails off the cross. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, this dude was a booster all day long. They were boost, bro. And I told you, my boy would take them, like, one-on-one. -on -one. First, first, he took them together, and then he said, I ain't gonna work, but he'll take, you know, Boodle. He might take Mikey, you know what I'm saying? He ended up ultimately sticking with uh, Boodle more and all that. But um, my boy Mikey uh, went to jail one day. And um, supposedly, you know, I ain't going to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's street shit. I'm going to leave it in the street. But um, my boy went to jail. You know what I'm saying? And um, and, and um, he got out, like, the day before Thanksgiving. I want to say it was Thanksgiving morning. That morning, like, or that night. Not Thanksgiving night, but the night before Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving morning, he got out of jail. And he went and cops from somebody. You know what I'm saying? And what his brother is telling me. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, the dude gave him some bullshit, a hot pack. You know what I mean? So Mikey came back home. You know what I mean? And and and, and did the bag with the neighbor across the street was the chick. And I think the chick was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? It was a bag of heroin. It was some down. You know what I'm saying? So I think the chick, I think the chick was pregnant. I want to say I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? But I might be confused with somebody else. But I think that chick was pregnant, and they both did the bag, and they both overdosed, and Mikey died. You know what I'm saying? And my boy Boodle, his brother, found him in the bathroom. And he was dead. You know what I'm saying? And the girl, they found her, and they called the ambulance, and they was able to save the girl, so she lived. You know what I mean? And my boy uh, passed away on Thanksgiving. You heard? Coming out of jail. So, you know, right now we ain't living in the times, man, where, like, I know a lot of people pop pills, and I know a lot of rappers talk about popping pills and Percocets and all that. Back then in that era, we used to pop pills, but it wasn't really the music pushing it like that. You know, you have some songs here and there that might have rapped about it, but it really wasn't the music pushing it like that. It was what we was doing, you know what I'm saying? And... And it, it was real pills, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, in today's time, it's different, you know what I mean? Because they got so much fentanyl, fake stuff going around, people cutting it, repressing pills. They don't know what they're doing. Cutting the dope, they don't know what they're doing. And people is dying, bro, you know what I mean? Left and right on overdoses. So, you know, we live in a time where you shouldn't be uh, getting high, you know what I mean? Like on dope or on pills. And you shouldn't be getting high anyway, but... It's a time where you really would want to, like, get cleaned if you was, you know what I'm saying? Because my boy came out of jail, you know what I mean, and died that night. You know what I mean? And, and I told you, my boy, Wilito, yo, his daughter, when he died, we did his funeral. His wake was on his daughter's birthday. So imagine, you know what I'm saying? Look at the situations. You know what I'm saying? You get out on Thanksgiving, you think you're going to eat turkey, be with your family. Your family is happy that you got out on Thanksgiving. Yeah, he got out on Thanksgiving. Oh, we're going to be hot. My brother's home, you know what I'm saying? Or my the mother, my son's home. This and this and that, blah, 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 blah. And then you do a bag of dope, and they find you in the bathroom dead. You know what I'm saying? Your brother finds you in the bathroom dead. You know? And then my other boy still getting high, his brother. He's still getting high to this day. You know what I mean? Instead of like... You know, people got their battles. You know what I mean. Just, people have an addiction, and it is hard to fight them addictions when you and when you stay in that area as well. You know what I'm saying. So it's hard to fight that, but you know, some people got to go through certain things sometimes, and uh, in order to change. And uh, some people, uh, and most of all, you have to want to change. You know what I mean. Like your brother, you found him dead, and you just going back to getting high even more now. 
you know, the depression and all that. So you never know what people are going through. But you got to think sometimes to step back and look like, yo, it's getting closer. You know what I'm saying? It's getting closer. And um, I'm pretty sure he's extremely hurt because even though <coughs> they fought, they loved each other. You know what I'm saying? They fought all the time. But you can't do nothing to one of them without the other one getting on your ass. Even though they fought each other the whole time, if one of them got in a fight with somebody, they, you're getting jumped. You know what I'm saying? Like, they loved each other, but they were just always fighting with each other. They even stabbed each other. But I think a lot of it had to do with the drugs. You know what I'm saying? Being on the drugs, being slimy, being grimy with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they went in the store boosting. and he stole the shit that his brother stole and went and sold it to, to my boy in the car. When he came out, he was tight. Boy, they was ready to kill each other in the car. You know what I'm saying? My boy's like, yo, they won't stop fighting. I said, hey. You know what I mean? But the drugs, man. The drugs ruined a lot of people close to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's part of the game. Like I said, I seen a lot of I seen a lot of dudes that was getting money become drug addicts. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird, bro. It's like they say, you live by the gun, you die by the gun. Well, if you live by the rock, you know what I'm saying? Selling the rock, you're going to die by the rock. It's kind of the same thing. You know, I seen it a lot. Um, back in the days in Florida, I hear a lot of cats used to gum line they dope and they keep it in their gum lines, you know what I'm saying, and they were served. A lot of them cats caught habits because they was getting high the whole time. The, the drug was going into their system. They caught habits and they ended up being jugs, being crackheads, you know what I mean? A lot of cats I know that was big time, really big getting money all day long, end up with habits. And you see them now, man. Like I seen one on OBT the other day and I was like, wow, like it shocked me, bro, because... I knew you when you had a Jaguar, you had a Lexus, you had two houses, you had a, a, a Mercedes, you had, and, I, and now you walk around with a bucket, you know what I'm saying? Like a five gallon bucket with some windows cleaning supplies and there's something like that, you know, dirty clothes, rough, rugged, no shape up, no nothing, I'm homeless, like I seen it, so... The drug game is kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people catch addictions and 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 the addiction wins, you know what I'm saying? The addiction wins, no matter how hard they fight. And that was the story, you know what I'm saying, my boy Mikey, you know what I mean? Because he would try to get clean a lot. Like, when he would go to jail, he would always come out talking about God. The same thing with his brother. They'll be, they're the pastors when they get out, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they he always had a spiritual battle. He was always talking about God, talking about God. He died on Thanksgiving night, right? He died on Thanksgiving night. Before he got that bag, he was in the room crying for like mad hours, they said. Praying, talking to God, crying. That he didn't want to live that life no more. And then he died that night. Ain't that crazy? He was crying in a room, praying, saying he did not want to live this life no more. Still went and got a bag and overdosed and died that night. Yeah. So, you know, y'all be careful out there, man. If you know if you know somebody that got a habit, I always say this, you know, try not to, uh, I know it's real hard to deal with them, but try not to, you know what I'm saying, give up on them. You know what I'm saying? Because they already gave up on themselves. So, you know, try to be there for them and, you know, talk to them and see, help them get right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they got to want to help themselves. You know what I mean? Don't be the dead horse. But, yeah, man, because you never know, you know. You never know what they're going through and you never know that last bag, whatever they do, that last pill might be their last. You know what I mean? But, yeah, my boy died right after he prayed and was crying, saying he didn't want to live his life no more. Went and got a bag of dope. And died that night. Y'all beat me up in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think, man. Um, If you're a survivor of addiction, put in the comments, man, so some people can see that people do win. You know what I mean? That addiction always, doesn't always win. That people do overcome this. You know what I mean? So it's your boys of Luke King Street, Fame 47. Y'all know what it is, man. We all gas, no brace. We ain't going to be good. Be safe, y'all.